Okay, good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and today is Wednesday, October 31st and uh, happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, it is Halloween and no, I'm not working on the night shift because I'm working on the day shift. <laughs> yep, I'm uh, working on uh, the feeding chores right now and um, yeah, so we're trying to we're gonna try to get things all wrapped up today. So hopefully tomorrow should be Friday. No, excuse me, Friday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Anyways, yeah, hopefully maybe tomorrow Thursday we might get started on corn. I don't know uh, for sure on Friday, but we're gonna try to get the uh, corn crib or not the corn crib the grain bin cleaned out. I got pick and corn in my mind yet. My brother and I were talking about, reminiscing about picking ear corn yet from the past last night during milking. So I had the corn crib in my mind. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're gonna try to get the grain bin cleaned out today. We gotta grind two batches of feed and then hopefully we're gonna get the rest of it on, it, on one gravity box. And I did so actually I did some more work in the combine this morning. Um, I did get it on. I didn't get it on video, um, but I got. I was trying to work on that motor thing to try to get that uh, the feeder house um, chain to slow down, and I managed to get everything freed up. It was just there was just a problem with the um, with the screw the screw bolt thing on there that wasn't that was stuck so. Um, I just looped it up last night and uh, let it soak and this morning, but I mean by golly this morning it can work so So I got the that working so I'll probably show you guys later what I exactly did on it But um, combine's pretty much all ready to go. I just got to stick some fuel in there and wash the windows and then and then um, Just get the corn head greased up I guess that's about it and then we're ready to go on corn so we get things wrapped up today, we can start on corn tomorrow, hopefully, because they're talking maybe some rainy weather later on Saturday or something, so, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so, um, so anyways, I'm going to keep loading this up here and uh, get the feeding chores wrapped up, and then I'm going to get the combine I'll probably bring the combine out here and get the head hooked back, the corn head back on there, and, um, and uh, get going with that. So, uh, anyways, I'll check back with you guys later. Okay, everybody. Um, you can see uh, we're starting to grind feed for the uh, the cows. Well, my brother, he's actually gonna work at that right now, and uh, I'm gonna work at. Uh, just gotta put some stick some fuel in the combine here, and then uh, then just get the dusty windows all washed on here. But as long as I'm here and I'm talking, I'm just gonna show you what um, about that um, deal I was talking about earlier. So. Um, yeah, so we got this thing here all adjusted. Um, now the, the belt is riding out higher on this pulley. I got it sucked in here. So, um, yeah, so now the thing will run at a slower speed, the throat, and, and um, yeah, so this, this uh, basically 
it was this shaft this uh, threaded shaft here uh, it was just just some stuff up in here um, it was uh, kind of a little bit it just needed some lubrication on there and like I said I took the motor the motor loose and I put a vice grip on here and I just took it and worked it back and forth and finally it came and uh, so yeah it was able to um, it was able to uh, get that thing uh, that thing turned here um, yeah back up in there it was able to get it all freed up and uh, yeah so that's nice to have this back working again because I honestly we just got by with it before it never even worked since in the two years we've had this combine it's never worked um, the other people that had this combine all they used it for was basically just for soybeans so they never they never adjusted it um, they did use it for corn one time but they probably used it just the way it was like we did but it, it, it I think it would just it won't chew the corn up quite so bad it'll, it'll make the I think it'll actually will make the head too run slower and uh, yeah it'll make this run a little bit slower here too so that was kind of the thing behind it and yes and yeah I was gonna show you that that stuff that I used to lube it up with and uh, um, yes I just used some of this WD-40 stuff here no I'm not sponsored by WD-40 but um, if you ha anybody has not uh, tried this stuff I don't know maybe some people haven't had good luck with it but I've had good luck with it but if it has to say that blue torch technology on there whatever reason that stuff it's different than the regular um, it's different than the it's different than the regular WD-40 and it just it just works a whole lot better so um, it just that stuff really eats up rust it's fast acting so um, I don't know give it a try like I said I'm not getting paid for it obviously but I don't know just free advertising for them I guess so um, but yeah so anyways this thing it should work fine now and uh, so I'm gonna go stick some fuel in here and uh, get these windows washed and get it hooked up to the corn head Um, you're probably wondering why we're doing that. Um, 
that red gravity box right there that it had the beans on it. We need that gravity box to uh, store um, some of the corn that's in the bin. And we're putting on that gravity box so that one's smaller and that one will not hold all the corn that's in the grain bin right now. So that's why we're just kind of transferring the corn or the, the soybeans around just kind of a I don't know, it's kind of a thing that we have to do I guess. So yeah, so I'm obviously saw we were grinding to feed and uh, we just we didn't get enough ground out of there to uh, Put it all on that. Put it all on that gravity box there. So. And yeah, so so I'm running these out, and uh, and I was just working on the combine uh, down there. Maybe you can't see that the sun, the glare of the sun, but um, but yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Um, we're getting this done here. It's all the different things you got going on around here today. I just got taken. Oh, we're just not going to get everything done that we want to get done today. It's just, uh, just too many things. <laughs> just got too many things going on here. Um, you know, we'll probably just get everything set up on the bin over there. So that'll be about it. So, well, I think I might just go back and work on the combine a little bit, and then I'll get back with you. Okay, everybody. Um, this is pretty much what we've gotten done here today. I guess you say we got those o or beans switched around, and I don't know. We just ain't gonna get enough time to get everything done here today. Um, I would say the sun is just about ready to set, so it's gonna be dark. Um, I just don't think we're going to get the rest of that bin cleaned out. Um, obviously you can see here, um, I got all the snouts tipped up. Um, I basically got the head all hooked up. I just got to go and grease all the grease circs. Uh, there's like some on the top there. And I checked the chains on this both sides, they're good to go. But I just got to grease these up and, and uh, yeah, I think it's ready to go pretty much. Other than just to give everything a shot of grease and oh yeah I still I gotta check I gotta check in between there and I think there's something down there that needs to be greased I just gotta check it and see um, and then then I'll be ready to go so I'll be ready to combine so we might combine tomorrow we might start but we might not so I don't know what's gonna happen here but anyways yeah so that's kind of what the deal is um, for the most part um combines are ready to go the window i got the windows all nice and clean so and it's fueled up just to finish up with the head get that bin cleaned out oh yeah and one more thing too i gotta i gotta i gotta do a quick wiring job in that burner burner unit over there too that shouldn't hopefully take too long it might take an hour or two to do but maybe not an hour maybe not two hours but yeah so anyways that's all i've got for today and um yeah oh yeah we just had another calf too i didn't get that on camera there's too many things to catch in camera today i was going to catch everything that i could on camera but sometimes you just can't catch everything and the video gets so long if i try doing everything but yeah there's so we, we got another there was a fresh a dry cow at calf so we got a, a fresh cow to milk tonight and another baby calf to feed this one was a heifer the one we had yesterday was a bull calf so yep so I didn't, like I say, I didn't get that on camera. I didn't have my camera with me at the time. Um, but uh, yeah, so we did have another another calf. So anyways, oh, that's it So I, for today. So so anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below. Um, thanks everybody for watching this video. Thanks everybody that subscribed to my channel. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, Please hit that subscribe button, and uh, and uh, yeah. So I, I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I uh, appreciate all of you, and um, yeah. So, um, anyways, hope everybody enjoyed their Halloween day and Halloween evening and everything like that. So, but so yeah. So tomorrow, 
we might come by we might not we'll see what happens um we're sure gonna give it a try try to get there but we probably won't we might i don't know we'll see what happens so um anyway so i will catch you later